Hello everybody. This video will be about the greatest secret never told. I hope to I hope the audio is okay because I forgot my earphones. There's a lot of cars passing by. There will be many topics I will attempt to link in this video. And there are topics that perhaps you may not have heard of before. If you are interested in some of those topics, some of my earlier videos were like a trail of breadcrumbs that led me to this point. You might want to start there. If you don't want to start there because you find the way that I speak very verbose, leave a comment and I can point you to other sources, especially sources that provide visual information to back up what I'm saying. Everything that I do say, I have accepted as truth. Here goes. We have had overlords rule over all epochs of time. They have had different names in each specific period of time. For the... Okay, this next part is called ancient history. However, many aspects of ancient history is not so ancient. And some of them are manufactured. For example, when we saw years ago on TV the destruction of Sumerian artifacts and buildings on the news. If you go back and see some movie clips or, or uh, news clips of the destruction that occurred and you play the video in slow motion and you wait for the moment specific artifacts are destroyed or broken into multiple pieces you will notice in many of those videos there are metal rods sticking out metal rods in ancient Sumerian times is not really accepted it doesn't really make sense but metal rods make a lot of sense based on the last 200 years or so of constructing a lot of things basically steel is reinforced by cement and this applies a lot to underground work as well to everything so then the validity of the age of those artifacts come into question it makes you even wonder was it all just staged events to provoke emotion out of us fear and hate and negativity right this is the most logical conclusion to me so I accept this as truth it was a tactic commonly employed by the overlords to rule us to take from us what it is that they require because that is all ruling is if you have power over another you are simply using that other to provide what it is that you need there's no egalitarian this even applies to relationships to being a parent because there are many parents today that unfortunately see their children as commodities, material possessions, rather than a living being you gave life to. So they were known by the name of Sumerians and 
the specific overlords in that time period was Anunnaki. In later time, peri time periods, they were known as the Egyptians, the Greeks, the Romans. Today, it's the Russians, it's the Americans, it's the Chinese. But again, they are the corporations representing the countries, not the actual countries themselves. It's the over oversight committee, the regulating system, the courts of law and banking and manipulation of the mind through religion and so forth. These corporations are the overlords. Not in the sense of the common employee, but the ones that the company corporation represents the owners they are the overlords at least on this plane of reality <clears throat> it's been the same ones through all the different civilizations going by different names the one thing that links all of them together is gold. Gold in all civilizations has had value and the question is why? Because in many civilizations what we're told is they use gold simply as icons if you will. In others they ingested it, monoatomic gold. I actually made a video about that and I tried that myself. And I can honestly say that certain thought functions improved. Did the effects wear off afterwards when I stopped using it? Yes, they did. And I have such a more profound understanding of what exactly I was doing now. You see, gold is the dense form of light. I can't remember where I heard this, but I feel this is true in my heart. And without a doubt, gold is the dense form of light. And for this reason, it was treasured throughout all the different ages, civilizations, from who knows how long ago continuously until the present so the question is why why what is so special about gold if you are an overlord what what could you possibly want so much out of gold and the answer is very simple gold which is just dense light is an energy source okay it, if you know how to draw the energy out of it that is your food that is your aphrodisiac and it's been proven monoatomic gold which I took myself here's where you Here's where it gets really crazy. Every single civilization has its own creation myths and religions. But keep in mind, it's been the same overlord, overlords through all these civilizations, ages. So they've always wanted gold. So the stories manufactured revolve around the acquisition of gold up until 1933 gold was the standard the physically dense form which is very interesting if you consider the topic of mud flood which I will be speaking more detail about in future videos so what happened in 1933 when the standard of gold was removed? The 
the standard became the collateral that would be paid for future debt. In essence, from an overlord point of view, governments were thrown into a state of every citizen being born, being given a value which would be the expected labor output throughout his or her life. How that output is put out <laughs> would depend on the individual. And this is where genes come in. Genes have the coding to determine how each individual would be. In this sense, that is why our bodies are biological robots. And our biological robots have several electromagnetic points throughout the body. Those are the chakras. So, if the body is a biological robot and I'm gonna have to make this into two parts because I cannot stay within 15 minutes and I no longer have a computer. So this is part one as of now. There's also some people passing by, so. Hmm. I'll have to watch this video to remember how to continue. Wait for part two. <laughs>